Yes, I'm smaller than them. I said, I'm, I don't have any shoes on today. So, okay. People that get to see the front pieces never get to see that. <laughs> the pieces that I all cut out all the time. But um, this is old cat. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about something that um, I guess, you know, the president realized and a lot of us didn't until now. Well, I mean, I, 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 everybody realized that the president, a lot of what he does is for, simply for get reelected, such the fact that he knows that he can't lose by sending health care to the Supreme Court now because uh, if, if it gets passed, he's dancing on the top of the tables. If it doesn't get passed, he's dancing on top of the victory table because it, it solidifies his base to have it not passed. Why do you say that? Because they don't blame the, the, you know, those goddamn Republicans in the Supreme Court. We've got to get them out if we're going to turn this country around. So, and you're not going to, if you don't, if you elect one of those Republicans, you're going to get at least two Supreme Court justices from our side that are retiring. See, part of it is you're, we're, you learn over time that politics, it's much, there's much about strategy when yeah. it comes to politics. And they all say that all is fair in love and war well, and, and politics. politics yeah. Okay, while your average Democrat, as a result of the educational system, can't add one and one and come up with two, they're great at percentages, though. Man, they can tell you right down to the oof what they have to have to get reelected. I always find that amazing. They can't add one and one and come up with two, but they can tell you, we're going to have to carry this state here by a tenth of a percent more than we did the last time because of uh, the fact that they're more popular in the state. And you figure out, how the heck can they do that? They can't add one and one, and yet they can figure out, you know, uh, geometric equations of how they can win the, uh, what they have to have to win an election because everything is built... I mean, honestly, everything is built around winning elections with uh, political parties today. Mm -hmm. I think Republicans are basically, well, it's all over because he, he's lost 50% of his vote. That ain't even a vote yet. See, I know, isn't that the funny part? But what we're talking about today is, um, we're talking about the 2012 election. It happens to be 2011 right now. Yeah. In the month of October. And the campaign, and it actually officially doesn't even start for another 90 days. That's 90 days before the first anything starts. But. But what uh, we're looking at right now is a lot of times we're watching President Obama and going, "How in the world? Why would he do that? He's doing this and this and this. How can he be elected? Well, guess what? He looks like right now a shoe in for the 2012 election. No. If there were to be one." If there was one, of which the Democrats don't even want to have one right now. Well, we're only joking that we think we should put the elections off for at least until 2014 in order to, that we, we, you know, changing horses in the midstream. Well, they're, they're started to changing horses in the midstream another notch today that we cannot change the Democratic majority in the Senate because if we do that, it will result in the collapse of our nation's financial system. And Bernanke today, you have to pass the president's jobs bill. We have to continue to spend. We have to spend, spend, spend in order to save our country from George Bush and Republicans. Mm -hmm. Our country will collapse and will bring the rest of the world down unless we continue to spend. See, and, George but, Bush didn't realize he was so powerful that he still has so much effect years after he's out of office. Yeah. Well, they, 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 have so, but they even admitted it that, that I realized that the country is in worse shape today than when I took it over that unemployment is 3% higher than when I took it over. The national debt is like 10 trillion more than when I took it over. We have a health care system that nobody that wasn't fixed. But it was George Bush and the Republicans who are at the fall of all of this. And I need another, he didn't say, I need to, he said, I need to continue my presidency. He did not say another four years. I need to continue my presidency. Because as I've written about, as, as I have published, the fact is that you can't remove a sitting president from office uh, a vote cannot remove a sitting president from office if a sitting president does not want to be removed because only an impeachment can remove. The court system has no legal authority to remove a sitting president. Mm -hmm. So but, uh, we're talking about the fact that mathematically it is totally impossible for any Republican to win the presidency. And you're right, how in the world can that be? Because it's like the Democrats have been doing all this stuff. It should be a shoe-in for the president Oh, to be Republican. Well, guess what? Well, the, the problem is, is that you have two different types of bases. 
The Republican base will simply, if they don't like a candidate like John McCain, notice the candidate in their back pocket is set down. They don't come out and vote. They will not come out and vote. With a Democratic base itself, I'm not talking about the black voter or the Latino voter, I'm talking about the liberal left base so hates Republicans that they'll come out, almost 100% of them will come out and vote against. They're not, the Democrats will not vote for the candidate that they've, they've nominated, they'll vote against the candidate that's running. Mm -hmm. And so you can guarantee, we're going to start off with the fact that basically the base is about the same in both parties. I think there's 25% Republican, 27% Democrat. Are you talking you know, about the far left or the far right? The far left or the far right. The far left will come out and vote almost 100% to a man on the far left. And the far right? And the far right, if, if they, okay, if you elect, uh, if you nominate uh, 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 Romney, at least 50% of those people won't vote. If you nominate Perry, at least 50% of those people won't vote. If you nominate McCain, none of you nominate. Uh, you McCain, no one, none of them will vote for Kane. Or a female. Or a female. I mean, you got two that. They will not vote, there will be virtually no votes for the female, virtually no votes for Herman Cain from the base of the Republican Party. Which, so if you look at that, okay, you're at 25% for the Democrats, 25% for the Republicans. Yeah. You're already down either 12% or to zero, right? Yeah, that's so the, the Democrats already have a lead because they're going to come out. They have a lead of at least 50%. Before this election ever starts, is a 50% lead over Republicans. And in fact, Republicans are not going to get more than they said one tenth of one percent of the black vote because those are the people that have the people that have the money are going to vote Republicans. The other people that don't have the money will vote for Democrats. But they estimated that only 10% of the black vote in this nation will come out and support Obama. 10%. 10%. It's not that many. But it's enough to give Obama 30% uh, of the vote. Democrats. Oh, that's true because part of it is a 10% vote Democrats. And none okay. of them vote for Republican base. Statistically, it's not even a, a, a count. So if you look at that, you're looking at what, 12? You're at 13%. You're at 12 and a half, what, in a percent, 13%? Yeah. Versus 25, 35%. Yeah. Right? You've already hit that. And uh, so, so you're already at more than a 20% deficit. Yeah, because 20 like they said, they're seeing 27% here, 3% with the statistical said. 10% of the black vote will amount to about 3% of the popular vote. So you're at 30, you're about 30, 31% on the Democratic side, and only 12% on the Republican side. 12%. He's, he's still, he's won the election already. Let's say, how is that possible? Because I'm going to put it this way. The Latino voters are going to do two things. Neither which is vote for the Republicans. They're either going to, uh, they said, they, they think that 30% um, of the Latino vote, which amounts to 2% of the total vote, will vote for Obama. Ah. And the rest of them are simply not going to vote for anybody. So let's say 2% vote for Obama, who is at 25, 35, 37%. Yeah. Are depending, it's 31 to 35%, depending upon which poll you're using, actually. So it's somewhere between. 31 and 37 percent, or 32 and 37 percent of the vote he has locked up right now. So you're looking at 37 percent versus like 12 percent of the vote for the Republicans. And we have independent. Oh, and then what about yeah, the independent? The independent voters. They said that uh, the Jewish vote is basically an independent vote. The Jewish vote will vote for Obama and about the same majority as the as the uh, the Latino vote, which gives him another two percent added to his thirty-two to thirty-seven percent. He's at thirty-nine percent. Yeah. 39%. Yeah. And, we, uh, and we, we haven't gotten any Republicans in there. Right? There's no Republicans. Well, because we were only talking about the hardcore left and hardcore right, right? Okay, so we, we didn't talk about the ones that are not hardcore for the rest of the okay, party. Now we're going to show you what else is going to happen. Everybody knows that I think Ron, uh, Ron Paul and Huntsman are going to go for the, uh, for the Libertarian vote. Okay. So you take the Libertarian vote away from the Republicans which they should be getting because they don't like uh, the Democrats at all. And you, you split it up among the in their, in their primary thing between Huntsman and uh, Paul. Paul is going to get it because Paul basically can put forth more money than Huntsman can because he's got like... And he's been doing it for a long time. You know, and and, and, and basically he is, a, he is more of a libertarian whereas uh, Huntsman is a liberal Republican which makes him conservative Democrat. But Huntsman then will switch, they said Huntsman will then switch over to the independent voters who will not vote for Ron Paul if their life depended upon it. 
So uh, they said that what happened is that, um, that Paul will take about 12% of the vote uh, of the uh, of the you know of the pissed off Republicans and the pissed off Democrats and pissed off Republicans, pissed off Democrats and pissed off uh, Libertarians. That's twelve percent that he's got, which is not going to go to the Republicans. Republicans are still twelve percent, folks. Yeah, I mean because the Libertarians will not vote for the Republican candidate, and then you've got Huntsman who's going to equally take from the Independents. The Independents are not going to vote for the Republicans either. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at the vote has been split. Uh, the Between the li <coughs> Libertarian, Independents, and Republicans. Between the Republicans. Mm -hmm. And if they, hear, they said here it works. And well, what about the Tea Party? The Tea Party is the people that are going to, not, the Tea Party is going to support uh, Ron Paul and, um, and Huntsman because oh. Republicans refuse to stop spending money. They're not going to, Republicans are going to no, nominate somebody on social issues when everybody knows no one gives a damn about social issues at the moment. You can run on, we've got to stop government spending, we've got to get, you know, we've got to get Congress under control, we've got to cut the deficit, we've got to get businesses going. That is not going to be a Republican stance because, um, okay, uh, Romney had done nothing but spent money. Romney was known as a vendor of money when he was governor. So he can create jobs, he also can spend money, and they're not going to elect a guy to help create Obamacare. Perry is such a crappy campaigner. I mean, this, this is a guy that basically is known for his bad temper and uh, and basically stands up to everybody, won't stand up to anybody, including the president. So, Which is really not what we want. That's right. So he's out. So um, so the Libertarian, you got the, you got, they said, what it amounts to, you have the, the, the Republican vote, the Libertarian and the Independent vote are all going to be just about the same. They said there's a possibility the Republicans actually end up fourth in this election cycle. Fourth. Which actually would be very unusual. Yeah, it, 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 you know, because there's no Republican candidate that anybody wants. They said... Uh, See, it, here, here's the funny part is, the unnamed Republican candidate can win. Can win. Oh, as the as Republican candidate. Actually, at this moment, statistically, any candidate, including Michelle Bachman, the Republicans are running, can beat Obama. Anybody in the top tier can beat Obama. But that's, you know, if you're using... That, that's in a vacuum. You're not counting the libertarian vote or the independent, and independent vote. vote. And, and like you said, they look at the fact that, uh, okay, here's the way it works. They have Obama has between 32 and 39 percent of the vote locked up right now. Mm -hmm. If you put the Republicans, the Libertarians, and the Independents together, you don't come up to more than about 37, 38 percent of the vote, period. And you say, well, how is that possible? Well, because, okay, we're just going to try it. Uh, we're just going to round it off, 40 here, 40 here. And, and 30 percent of the people generally don't vote to begin with. So if 30 percent don't vote and you split the Republican vote three ways, guess who becomes president of the United States without even campaigning? He, you know, he doesn't need a billion dollars to win. He just needs the candidates that are running to continue to run. Because as long as they continue to run, they're going to split the vote. That's and then right. he gets all the rest that would have been his anyway. And, and the problem is, Huntsman will, Huntsman will go the opposite direction. He'll go the independent because he doesn't like Republican, the way the Republicans are doing things. Because he's a business mm -hmm. person that says, get off the god blankety blank social issues and do what the people want done. And Ron Paul just wants to basically stop the spending, period. Just stop it. You know, right now, just throw people out on the streets, take the, take the Latinos, put them in buses, ship them back to Mexico. You know, if you have to, shoot all of the SOBs, is his opinion, which is why Paul is doing well among the libertarians and an X amount of independence. Because he wants this stuff all stopped. He said, you've got to stop spending money. I mean, like, uh, like uh, one libertarian yesterday said, which everybody's pissed off about, he said, you want to get 7 million jobs back tomorrow? He said, go take the troops that we do have left, send them into all the barrios in the United States, and ship everybody back to Mexico where they belong. You've created almost 8 million jobs. Oh, imagine that. How easy. 8 million jobs. He said, I can have 8 million jobs created tomorrow morning. He said, uh, and you said you're not even going to have internment camps. You're just going to put them on buses and take them to the, the border uh, and then sit there along the border with all of your troops and sit there, come back, mm -hmm. and then shoot them all. That's what he said, to shoot everyone who comes back. That, was, that didn't go over well, but that was a libertarian person, folks. <coughs> and um, 
but uh, it is logic. I mean, when you already stand at it with enough votes to win the presidency, you become the first president in the history of this nation uh, elected with less than 40% of the vote. I mean, he can. I know. It's a possibility he could go down. They said his figures cannot go down much lower than 31, 32 percent, no matter what. Because that's what he's guaranteed with the black voters, the people on the left that will not vote for Republicans under him. Yeah. Hell will freeze over before a, 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 lip, a left wing, Democrat, far left, will vote for a Republican candidate. And, and they, the, the bad part is, Republican candidates don't 